Okay, this is this week's video reflection for the Orbis Pictus Award, and the book that I chose is called A Splash of Red, The Life of Horace Pippin. Um, it is written by Jen Bryant, and the illustrator is Melissa Sweet. Um, so just a quick summary of this book, it's about a boy named Horace um, who grew up in Pennsylvania. He had a very strong passion for coloring and painting, and um, eventually one day his father kind of left the family and so he was left with doing the chores for the family. So he kind of had to put his um, passion on hold. And while he did that, um, he ended up moving to New York. And while he was there, the war started, to, started happening and he really wanted to help out our country. So he went to war and fought. Um, where he actually ended up getting hit in his right shoulder, which caused him to be sent home. And when he came back home, he was really devastated because no one would take him because no one would ask, or he couldn't work anywhere because his shoulder was hurt. And he also couldn't uh, pursue his passion, which was drawing and coloring. So he was pretty devastated. But in the meantime, he ended up marrying and... Um, he actually decided that he really wanted to try to get back into the drawing and coloring. So instead of using his right hand, he trained himself to color and draw with his left hand. And so after years and years of practice doing that, he his artwork finally got noticed. And um, it was finally displayed in newspapers and galleries and museums. And it was bought by um, mil like a lot of collectors and movie stars and all of that. Um, so the illustrations in this book were done with watercolor, uh, gouache, gouache, whatever, and collage, um, which was inspired by Horace Pippin's deep, rich colors. So in the book, um, here's him as a little boy sitting down, like when he first discovered his passion for coloring. Um, here's a picture of him kind of training himself how to... Um, draw again with his left hand instead of his right hand and then this is the day where his artwork is finally put into a museum and people start to really take notice of his work um, and then in the very back they also have since this is a bibliography they also have a historical note on his on Horace Pippin and then they also have an author's note and an illustrator's note put in the back of the book here. Um, and then something also was something else that was pretty cool is they have a map of the United States, and each state that's on here that has a little star is somewhere that his artwork has been um, bought or placed or put up. Um, so I thought that was pretty interesting. And then as far as the strategies and activities go. Um, the first one was kind of simple. It was just to have the students create their own painting using a charcoal like Horace did because that's what he used when he first started his artwork. And then the second one would be to have the students pretend that they were entering their own drawing contest and have them create their own self-portrait and enter that into the, con into the contest. So that is this week's video reflection.